Okay, so this tutorial is related to hotkeys. For example, here's a folder, Adobe Reader, and that's the executable. And if I simply drag the file with the right key and create a shortcut, then I can add at the, here at properties, I can add the shortcut key here. It's a shortcut key. Place the cursor there and press a key combination. For example, Control A, Alt and A. So it's Control Alt and A. Okay. Let's close it with the OK button. And now if I'm pressing Control Alt and A on the keyboard, the program automatically appears. So that's working. But there's a problem if I restart the computer and this shortcut won't work anymore. And to fix that problem, let's go to File Explorer. And let's go to the C drive where Windows is installed. And program data. If program data is not visible, then go up here to view in the menu and make sure hidden items is checked. Without that, program data is not visible. So let's enter program data, Microsoft, Windows. Start menu, programs, and we can move the shortcut there. Okay, move. You need to provide administrator permission, continue. Okay, that's done, but the hotkey has to be set again so let's right click on that shortcut click properties and here at control alt a just press the control key for example and it is cleared now let's apply it you need to provide administrator permission continue and here at shortcut let's press again control alt and a Control Alt A and this time we can close it with OK and continue. We can close this window. Let's test the hotkey Control Alt A and there it is Adobe Reader. Okay, let's test it once more. Control Alt A and it's working. Okay, now let's restart the computer restart Windows 10 technical preview it's restarting and after restart the shortcut should work with the hotkey Control Alt and A okay Windows is starting right now and let's test it Control Alt and A and voila Adobe Reader is there let's close it Let's do it once more, Ctrl Alt and A, and Adobe Reader. So that's how to fix it. That's it. Thanks for watching, bye bye.